everybody to my video. My name is Mike Alder from AlderNation.com. I want to make a quick video today about these things. Fidget spinners. They seem to be everywhere. They're taking over the country. They're taking over the children. So I had to get my kid one because I wanted to see what they were all about. I bought him one and in the process I bought myself one also because I knew I wanted to make a video on it. Um, so what I wanted to do really quick was go over what they are and what people are saying about them because they're all on the news and they're everywhere. First of all, they are considered toys, but they're supposedly good for children with ADD and ADHD and they're supposed to be potential focusing tools and also things you can just give to the kid and that they can play with while they're sitting there having a conversation with you to keep them occupied. Um, I read that in a therapy setting, it's, it's a way to keep a child's hands busy, to free the mind and discuss important issues like anxiety, trauma, and stress. All that being said, I bought one for my six-year-old and bought one for myself, as you can see in the video, in the intro to the video, I was playing with them. They're just fun. I mean, for a kid to sit there and it gives him something to do while he's just sitting there. So, um, I wouldn't overthink it or think too much into it. Just know that they're, they're, just, they're just fun toys for kids. I mean, they have some therapeutic uses according to the internet, but um, I recently got ours. We recently got ours. It's only been, it's been less than a week, and he's not here right now. Somehow I ended up with his here, and he's not here, so go figure. I bought two of them. I bought the, the blue one for myself, which was $10, and the white one I bought for him is $16. Um, I'm going to put links in the description to both of them, but you can tell, slightly tell the difference in quality of the $16 one to the $10 one. They're both really, really nice. They both glow in the dark also, so when you're playing with it, one fun thing you can do with your kid is to put some light on it and take it into a dark room and let them spin with it in the, in the dark. It's a lot of fun. Kids, kids will like that. So as far as the comparison between the two, the $10 one and the $16 one, I would say that the $16 one does feels a little bit more quality, um, feels a little bit more durable. I'm going to put links to both of them and I'm going to specify which one is the $10, which one is the $16 one. When you click on it, you'll be able to see anyway on Amazon which one costs what. But um, I basically give it the thumbs up. My kid sits and plays with it as he rides in his car seat on the way to different places and he still talks to me, which is important to me. I don't want him to sit there and play with it and not talk to me like he would a video game or something. Um, so overall I would give it the thumbs up. I think it's a positive thing to buy for a kid. It um, keeps them occupied and make sure that you don't let your kid take them to school because I read an article on, I think it was CNN this morning about teachers getting upset the kids are bringing them in because they're distracting. Um, the kid sits there and plays with himself, doesn't pay attention to what the lessons are and other kids around him that don't have any sit there and watch him as he's spinning his so it's a distraction for him. So you shouldn't let your kids take them to school. I don't let my kid take his to school, and you shouldn't let yours either. And other than that, they are, again, good fun. They're supposed to have therapeutic abilities, but I wouldn't solely buy them for that. I would buy them for the fact that they're fun for kids, and kids are going to enjoy them. And that's it. Signing off. Make sure you click like on the video, and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I will keep coming with content. I make videos weekly. You can also support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month so that I can keep making content for you. Have a good one. I'm Mike Alder, AlderNation.com, signing off. Have a good one.